So we're going to begin our discussion by talking about the design of something called the Futures Collector class. And I've implemented a whole variant of these types of classes, some of which appear in other examples, some of which appear in your programming assignment. They all do more or less the same thing with a few tweaks here and there. So let's go ahead and talk about this. First, we're going to talk about the limitations with the arbitrary arity methods and, and why we need to address these limitations by wrapping the all of method within a class that will then work seamlessly with the Java streams framework. And this is really a great example of turning lemons into lemonade because working around the limitations actually ends up producing a much more powerful abstraction than trying to use the method, like the all of method by itself. So let's motivate why we need this. Arbitrary arity methods, all of any of, are hard to program directly. By the way, does anybody know what this is? <laughs> actually, that's actually, that's actually a really great, that's a really good guess. It does look like the GPD logo. That's hilarious. I hadn't realized that. Uh, this is the Gordian knot, or it's a, it's a representation of the Gordian knot, but it does look quite a bit like the GPD logo. And in fact, uh, I asked GPT to generate me a logo, or generate me a Gordian knot representation, and I guess it did it, although I never really thought about the fact that, that those two, two things were, were very similar. It's a great, great uh, insight there. So this is, a, this is the Gordian knot. The Gordian knot, if you're not familiar with this, one of these Greek mythology stories where there's some uh, ball of twine that's very complicated, and whoever can unravel it, I forget exactly how the story goes, but whoever unravels it becomes like the king of Greece or something. And so somebody shows up, and I can't remember who it is, like Perseus or Theseus or somebody, and rather than sitting there trying to unravel the Gordian knot, he takes out his sword and chops it in half. So it's a metaphor for solving complicated problems with you know, quick, decisive action. <clears throat> not sure whether he became the king or not. Somebody can check that. We'll, we'll ask ChatGPT what happened to him. But I'm sure that Wikipedia will probably tell us too. So this is... Uh, these, these methods are past an array of completable future objects, which usually and awkwardly requires us to convert from a list form to an array form. Really, really, really annoying, but that's just the way it works. I don't know why they've never fixed this in the API. Another issue here is that what happens, these are not strongly typed. You could have an array of any types of completable future objects, and it'll work for all of them or any of them. And that's why these methods return a completable future to void and or object, because it doesn't know. The underlying thing doesn't know what it's waiting on. So those are two problems that we've got. You have this array. It's not strongly typed. Therefore, the way to solve this problem and to make things less complicated for mortals like us is to wrap it with a wrapper class that encapsulates all these complexities within a nice little abstraction, an object-oriented abstraction. So this is how we're going to do this, of course. We're going to create the futures collector class with a factor method called toFuture. And this will convert a stream of completable futures into a single completable future, as we just talked about, that then will be triggered when all the other completable futures complete. So this is really cool. And the other thing that you can see here that's worth mentioning is the fact that we've got a way to integrate completable futures with Java streams. So now we don't have to write awkward control flow with loops and if statements, but instead we can make a nice completable future stream and then collect the results. And it's a nice idiom. You see this used a lot. It's used in your programming assignment as well. So let's talk about how we're going to design this class. So this class is going to wrap all of, and it's called Futures Collector. And we're going to make it work with the Java Streams framework as a terminal operation, which is the way that collectors work, as you may recall. So let's take a look at what we got. We got this thing called Futures Collector, which is the class we implement. And we fill in all of these different methods. And of course, these methods, most of these methods, come from implementing the collector interface. So collectors, you've seen before, is an interface that's a Java Functional interface, that's, I take it back, not a functional interface, it's a Java 8 interface, and it's got various features in it for creating suppliers, accumulators, combiners, finishers, and noting the characteristics metadata. And that's what Futures Collector is going to implement. Remember, just a quick recap, what a collector does. Its purpose in life is to take elements from a stream, 
like a piggy bank and drop each element into the collector's mutable result container. And when everything's done, then either through the finisher or through some other means, you'll get the result. Now, this is actually also a really good example of using the finisher for something interesting. Up to this point, most of the collectors we've looked at, like two list and two set, didn't really need a finisher. In fact, they would usually use the identity finish characteristic because by the time everything's been accumulated into the mutable result container, there was nothing for the finisher to do. It was just gonna take the results of the array list or whatever. This, however, is gonna do something much more interesting in the finisher, and that's one of the things I like to talk about. So, Futures Collector is a wrapper class that encapsulates otherwise complicated code to program. And so that's what it's going to give us. And we're going to talk about the implementation in the next part of the lesson.